Hi, I'm Mark Shepard, citizen of the universe. You're watching Supernova TV. We are here with the incomparable Mark Shepard. Thank you so incomparable. much. Incomparable. I'm, I'm Australian. I'm going to say incomparable. Incomparable. You beat me to the punch with my first question. Which is? All of your roles that you, I have seen you play are quite intimidating characters. Can you teach me to be a bit intimidating? No. Oh. Just comes naturally? I don't know if it comes naturally, but it sort of goes with the characters, I guess. Okay. Is that similar to you or do you play against the grain? One would hope it's not similar to me. I don't kill millions of people. And no. Not all of the characters that you've played have killed millions of people. It's, 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 there's a through line there. Yeah. Much. There's, a, there's a definite trail of dead. I feel like you've gone from like small time crime lord who doesn't actually seem to have done that much actual murder to king of hell. So, so coming, there's a big... You're coming in halfway through my career. Yes. I'm so coming in where the, the big fandoms start, the big families So X-Files was unimportant. Well, no, you, you just... <laughs> <laughs> so I go from killing people in X-Files? Yes. Well, I, I started out, um, I did a play, I'm a musician by trade, mm -hmm. and I did a play that got a lot of attention in Los Angeles, and from that I did uh, a starring role in a film called In the Name of the Father, mm. and that was my first film. Nice way to start. And then from then I started killing people on American television and I've been doing so ever since. So first season X-Files and Mantis and all those fun sort of things. Not um, all American television though. I actually, I have a housemate who's Glaswegian and he believes that no British actor has made it until they've performed on Doctor Who. Well, Doctor Who was actually the first thing, not the first thing I shot in England, but the first thing I've ever done as an actor on British television, which mm. is odd. I was the... Uh, Subsequent to that was the voice of BBC America, which is very yes. weird. So Stephen always thought it was funny that I was doing promos for Doctor Who <laughs> while I was on Doctor Who. So yeah. it could be quite interesting. Definitely. Now, we actually had a question on Twitter about your musicality and if you've ever had a chance to use that while playing a role. My musicality? Yes. Um, I don't know. I've sung here and there on stuff, but... Uh, not a lot of drummers taking over the world or hell. Or I don't know. Animal's be. pretty good. Animal's amazing. His, uh, you ever see his drum off with Buddy Rich? I haven't. Yeah, go look it up. So many amazing fandoms that have become so huge, they're families now. Right. What is the most surprising role, though, that people recognise you for? It depends. It really does depend. It's, it's, um, I've been lucky enough to do, to have roles or roles written for me on shows that that have fan bases, I guess. Um, but, you know, if you think about the, the, the change in the way that, uh, that fandom, I mean, we're at a convention, so it's, it's, it's a great example. This used to be the, you know, sort of the lowest of the low. TV used to look at this as though a bunch of funny people dressed up in suits and they had no idea who the people were behind the costumes. Mm. They didn't understand that you know, we've got as many doctors and lawyers and people looking after their kids as the people commenting on yes. on what they're dressed as. And uh, I just think it's a wonderful thing to see that, that we've now become mainstream as, as lovers or sort of amateurs in that context. Um, I always hated the word fandom because fan, fan comes from fanatic and fanatic has always been a negative connotation. And with Supernatural, we, we quickly migrated from the idea of Supernatural fandom to family because it felt more familial. And Supernatural deals with so many... Um, in a lot of ways, it deals with a lot of mental health issues and a lot of, uh, a lot of issues that we're all dealing with today. And it seems to unite people in a really positive way, the amount, the amount of monies that have been raised, not just by the boys, and you know ourselves but people coming in behind us and supporting causes that we care about and giving a voice to something mm. that is you know we've got a bit so i've talked to a gentleman this morning about about charity and charity in in most countries has become a very very big business and it's amazing to see i think how some people just do it better by being responsible and caring yes you know it's it's uh 
personal responsibility over the idea of, of, of state-run or organization-run responsibility. Not knocking the great works that some people do, but it's amazing to see so many disparate groups of people coming together for something they love or enjoy and, you know, raising millions of dollars for, for causes that other people won't touch. Definitely, and it's possible because of these families that get behind yeah. these shows and are really interested in what the people involved in these shows care about. Yeah. It's just fascinating to, to take a character in a situation, a fantasy type situation, which I think are the best stories, mm. and, and, uh, and have that hit home with people to the point where they're sort of moved to do things and, and change things and try to change things. It's an, it's an amazing, I mean, we're not, we're not brain surgeons, but we are helping people by, by giving people reasons to stick together. Definitely. I think the reason why Supernatural is so, is so popular is because of the themes more than anything else. I think, mm. I think the themes are so positive, you know, um, family, the idea you're not alone, the idea that one sticks together and one can fight anything. I mean, that... Yeah. There's a lot of found family in Supernatural as well. It's yeah. not just the family you're born with, it's the family that you make. Absolutely. And that's, you know, in this day and age, it's a very dangerous and scary world. I have children and uh, it's nice to see that it's changing. It really is changing. Yeah. People are starting to take personal responsibility and putting their hands out to other people. And it's great to be part of that, even just a small part of it. But something that, that people can tag on to or latch on to yeah. because they love it or they enjoy it. They see a part of themselves yeah, in exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why, you know, a lot of spin-offs of Supernatural never really worked. It's because um, we care about the Winchesters, that's the point. And I always love the fact that, that both Misha's character and my character were sort of proxy lovers of the Winchesters. So, you know, you have the good guy and the bad guy, theoretically, uh, that the audience live vicariously through in mm. their support of the Winchesters and, and whatever their agenda might be. And I, I really enjoy that, seeing the power that that has. And, you know, to, to see people in such difficulty nowadays, such personal difficulty nowadays, using a show such as that and the themes of a show such as that to do really good work and help one another is just a beautiful thing. It really is. Yeah. Well, I would like to thank you so much for being in part of the Supernova family. Well, I'm so Welcome. happy. I was supposed to do Supernova in 2011. We finally got you. Yeah, absolutely.